So I've been doing a lot of videos this last couple of weeks on what I'm coming to you on right now, the Insta360 Go 2 and also the new GoPro Hero 10. So it's been an expensive couple of weeks for me. Um, do I regret getting one or the other? No. I love the Insta360 Go 2 because it's so small, so cool to use. A bit more editing involved in getting the video before you use it. But because it, it's so tiny, you can just put it in places that you just can't with a GoPro. The GoPros are great, but they're not as actually bigger than they used to be. So, um, yeah, but I'm loving the um, Hero 10 as well. I'm doing, I absolutely love the 4K 120 frames a second. The 5.3K and up to 60 frames a second is so beautiful. And even the 2.7K, 240 frames a second. One thing I would love to see them do, it would be incredible, is because with this new update, GoPro has basically doubled the frame rates for all their resolutions apart from 1080p. I would love to see them do 480 frames per second, 1080p. Even if it's got any limit of how much time you can record on that, I reckon that would be an awesome feature to add, or well, maybe we'll see that in the Hero 11. Anyway, um, I'm out, beautiful sunny day, I've got the GoPro 10 looking the other way at the moment, I've got the, um, got an ND filter on the front, ND32, sunny day, and um, I've got some ND filters for the um, Go 2 as well, so I uh, will um, just go for a little drive, I'm going to see if I can see somewhere I can go for a bit of a walk, and we'll do that too. Afternoon drive now. Did a bit of a drive in the morning, and now I've got for now this bit. I'm actually heading down to now just to have a little look. Not a bad place to fly the drone, but I haven't got my drone with me today. It's a tiny bit too windy. It's a famous little spot because a guy, two Japanese tourists came here, and if I've done this edit right straight ahead of us, is a um, lucky they put a post there. You can't. They drove out there because the navigation unit told them that's the road to drive to Strabroke Island. Of course, Strabroke Island is an island and you can't drive to it. It's not like Bribey Island. So they drove out into the mud and got stuck. And then the, when the, car, the tide came in, then the car got written off. So yeah, that's an interesting story about just back there. Um, <laughs> 